Hello all. In this video I'm going to attempt to uh, help some people out with uh, their wireless networking after Arch Linux is installed. Uh, sometimes it works when uh, you're installing and then it uh, doesn't when um, it's finished when you reboot. So um, I'll try to simulate this. Uh, you open a terminal and first of all as you're installing, make sure you uh, sudo pacman and get these tools just to make sure you have everything to get you started. Wireless underscore tools WPA underscore supplicant and dialog. And as you can see here, it says reinstalling, so I'm going to answer no here. But make sure you have those uh, as you're installing, not after, because um, it won't work, or you have to remount your uh, image. Now, once that's done, uh, you should be able to get access to Wi-Fi menu. So Wi-Fi, actually sudo, after you're uh, logged in, either as root, or as a user, if you're using, running as a user, um, run sudo Wi-Fi dash menu, and it should scan for networks. Now I have to blur out some of this, but uh, you pick the one that you know, and then I'm going to press cancel here because I already have that. And you look inside your. Uh, just do an ls slash etc etsy or and then net ctl net control so it's command line based and you should see your interface here okay and then if all work you should be able to type in net ctl start and then your profile that you saw in etsy.netctl okay and if it works and you have internet you do a ping and you get a ping back you just uh, netctl enable that network that you had in the, the netctl uh, directory and then uh, press enter and it should run at startup and you should be good to go Um, I made a example here. The, <clears throat> uh, automatically generated. So what? That's what it does. Um, and it has your interface. In my case, it's this. A connection is wireless security WPA, and then ESSID should be your network name, your access point. IP is DHCP usually. Not always. And then your key, obviously the key that you have to put in for your, um, to access your wireless network. So that's the file that's generated in uh, Etsy NetCTL. And it should be working um, at boot time. And uh, that's, that's all. Just a quick uh, overview of how you would do that, for example. Um, it, might, it might not always work, but I've had some luck with it. Uh, in the past and it seems to be working fine okay and that's it for this one okay thanks so much for watching any questions or comments as always feel free to add them and we'll talk to you soon bye for now